Hey guys, so today what I want to do is, yeah, in my previous video, I, I built this uh, bed frame and with the pull-out drawer and all that stuff. And now that this side is, is all covered up and there's no real walking access, I, I want to relocate the battery over to here. And if you've seen my last video, well, not my last video, but my recent video, the battery build on the other side, you can click the link up there. I'm going to actually relocate the battery to this side because, you know, there's no access on this side. So it's a good spot to put the battery right here. And in addition to that, I'm gonna build some storage um, boxes and then I'm gonna extend the bed, and make it a little bit wider. So I wanna use this space right here. So I'm going to make this a standalone unit so that if I wanna take out the whole bed, I could just pull it all out and not have to unscrew anything. So this unit will be a standalone all by itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the battery right there and I'm gonna start building a frame around it and then having that uh, extra bed cushion area right here for a little bit of a bed extension. And this area right here will be storage. All right, so I made a slot for um, the battery and now I need to do a slot for this inverter. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna have some access holes for the wires to come over. So that's the way the inverter is going to look. And there's the cut I made and the wires will all go over there of course and now I need a stopper of course to, to make this battery not slide around so I'm gonna build a, have a block there too of course now I'm gonna build some shelves for some storage and some um, retaining walls for the storage All right, this is the way it's looking right now and um, what I did was I drilled holes here so that I could put a screw at the bottom here so I could mount it to the floor of, of the van and then um, mount the the um, inverter box so let's install it and see what it looks like hey, that's how I was, I'm able to get to that spot Okay, so I got the battery uh, hooked up and the inverter hooked up and if you notice I, I put a little extension leg so that I could put a couple more screws into this this uh, inverter to keep it still so that's what's up next is I need to uh, put the charger all right so here's the solar charger regulator so I'm probably just gonna mount it up right here so everything's nice and close slight change of plan instead of putting the solar charge controller there I decided to put it right here and the reason is I don't want to have to open this sliding door every time I want to check the battery if I could just turn around look at it right there it'll be a lot better and you can see it's already hooked up last thing is I need to make this custom cushion to go right there right, that's the final touch so now you take a look my bed is a little bit wider in your torso area where it's the most important for for it being wide and here is my storage box and battery power box area and the charge controller is right there all right so i'm all done with this for now and uh, you know in a, my next video or in a future video i'm gonna stock everything and i'm gonna demo uh, this whole bed drawer and um, all the kitchen stuff we'll demo er everything and see how everything looks when it's all set up but i guess for now this is military